this one probably should have gone in our What The segment. What if your gaming computer could breathe? Opening its mouth to gulp in air when it gets too hot or shuttering its orifices to keep out dust and reduce noise. That's the idea behind CyberPower PC's somewhat unsettling Kinetic Series PC case. The Kinetic case introduced at CES sports a front panel made up of triangular segments and looks like something right out of Doctor Who. 18 of said triangles are actually hinged air vents that open inward, transforming from solid panels into a disturbing series of polygonal holes. Hardware inside the case monitors the ambient temperature of your PC, opening and closing the vents in accordance with the system's airflow needs. Imagine having this sitting next to you at your computer desk, opening and closing as it sees fit, like a Michael Bay Transformer attempting to come to life. Now imagine you own a hamster who likes to crawl around your desk while you work. Okay, now stop imagining, because it's about to get gruesome. The Kinetic Series chassis is actually a rather cool idea. It's inspired by Kinetic architecture, which allows structures like buildings or satellites to transform to alter not just their form, but their function as well. A building might have panels that unfold to help divert wind, while a satellite in space needs its mirrors to move in order to harvest solar energy more efficiently. The downside of the design is that it's mildly creepy. That, and you can already see the dust beginning to settle along the edges of the demo PC in the video. If it's collecting dust bunnies that quickly, it doesn't have a chance at staying clean in anybody's home. CyberPC's website lists the Kinetic as coming soon. It almost sounds like a threat. Every single year at CES, Razer brings at least one prototype product to the event. Something that usually never becomes an actual product, but last year it actually did. A project, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it. The mask, the, the cool little mask that they made that you could see your mouth through. They actually made that and it came out here recently. Now they're coming out with a pro version that is going to have voice changing capabilities and voice amplification capabilities. So every once in a while, these things do actually come to market, but most of the time, they're just flashy stuff to talk about at CES. This year, it's called Project Sophia. It's a concept modular gaming desk. In its current version, the table includes room for 13 separate modules. These can be used to add components like touchscreen hotkey panels, external capture cards, and audio mixers to Project Sophia, thereby allowing you to modify the station to your needs. Razer claims it's possible to reconfigure the table in seconds. The computer that powers everything is housed in a chassis that magnetically snaps underneath Project Sophia's glass tabletop surface. Razer says it features the latest components from Intel and NVIDIA, and you can detach the case at any point to install new upgrades. Naturally, this being a Razer product, you'll find plenty of RGB lighting, all of which you can control through the company's Chroma software, but arguably the most eye-catching aspect of Project Sophia is the 65-inch OLED display Razer has built in to the workstation. The company says it will also offer a model with a 77-inch display. That's what I'm talking about. Well, note here that Project Sophia may never, ever make it to market, so don't hold your breath. Looking at the rest of the concept, though, Razer appears to have paid less attention to ergonomics. Judging from the renders the company shared, you can't adjust the height of Project Sophia to make it a standing desk or to better accommodate the position of a chair. And speaking of chairs, the company also unveiled a pro HyperSense version of its $399 key gaming chair. Razer partnered with D-Box to add haptics to the chair. It will support 2,200 games, movies, and TV series, including releases from publishers like Ubisoft and Microsoft. 
Oh, and it too will come with RGB lighting. Razer didn't say when it plans to release either product, but we expect it's far more likely for the Enki Pro HyperSense chair to make it to market than the actual workstation. Last May, Sega dropped a short and mysterious teaser trailer for an upcoming Sonic the Hedgehog game. The trailer had no gameplay, and it didn't even reveal a name. Just a strange symbol, it would uh, be another seven months or so before Sonic Frontiers was officially revealed at the Game Awards 2021. Sonic's next adventure is scheduled to drop sometime during the holiday of 2022, but that wasn't always the plan. As it turns out, Sonic Frontiers was internally delayed by a year to improve its quality. At the December 24th Investor Q&A, a shareholder inquired about sales projections for Sonic Frontiers. In response, a Sega Sammy executive explained that the game is receiving the utmost care in development, including a lengthy internal delay for quality. Originally, it was planned to be released on this year, the 30th anniversary of Sonic, but we have postponed the release for a year in order to further brush up on the quality. During the development phase, we have been steadily conducting analysis to improve the quality of the title before release, such as introducing game testing based on external evaluations, and I have a feeling that it will become a good game and have high expectations for it. The Sonic franchise has seen dramatic highs and lows, and not every game has been a quality product. Some of them clearly needed more time in the oven. Sonic Frontiers looks to be an ambitious ambitious product, and an internal delay could be the difference between a hit and a flop. We'll see how it plays out when it launches later this year. 